Hello again, this is The Main Machinist. I have here on my granite table a set of half-inch parallels from Grizzly Industrial. G5679 is the part number. This is the second item that I have bought from Grizzly. I previously bought an ultrasonic cleaner, which I did make a review of and a test for. You can see the link to that video in the description. Today what we're going to do with these parallels is we're going to test these with two different indicators. I have a Michitoyo indicator that reads down to tenths point zero 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 one inches. We're going to test the height and parallelism of these uh, parallel sets to see if they match what Grizzly claims. Grizzly claims that they should be within three tenths on height and two tenths of parallelism. If you bought something from Grizzly, let me know in the comments what do you think we're going to find here as we go through this test. I, for one, do not know what to expect. This is only my second purchase from Grizzly. I was happy with my first purchase. Let's see how my second purchase fares. I am set up here with a Mitutoyo dial drop indicator that reads down to tenths. Each division on the indicator is one tenth. The, on the minor divisions and the major divisions are thousandths. So we're going to check the height um, of these parallels with this, and then we're also going to double check parallelism with a brown and sharp best test indicator on my granite table. Let's take a look at this one here. We have a zero set. At a total indicator readout there of just under one tenth variation. That's real close to a tenth right there. So this one passes the quality test. Let's test the second inch and three quarter parallel. I'm going to set a zero here. A solid zero. And again, we're just at one tenth variation on this parallel, so it passes Grizzly's claims. Let's test the inch and a half parallel. This one shows two tenths variation. Let's check the second inch and a half parallel. And this one is just over one tenth. Let's check the inch and a quarter parallel, first one. Very good. Let's check the second inch and a quarter parallel. And about a tenth there overall. Let's check the first of the one inch parallels. This one has a, not even one tenth. And let's check the second of the one inch parallels. And we have just over one tenth of total indicator readout there. So all of them passed on this test. Now let's check parallelism with the brown and sharp indicator. Let's start out again with the inch and three quarter parallels. Some of the movement on the dial there you'll see is just the pressure from my hands. So I'm going to move a little bit and stop and watch as it goes. I would say that definitely passes the test of Grizzly's claims. Let's try again here at the center. I'm going to try three points on each set of parallels. We have a zero.
And here we're seeing the slightest variation on the heights that we saw on the other indicator. Let's try this third point. I'm going to say that's right at two tenths, which is what Grizzly claims. Okay, let's try the inch and a half parallels. Last point. And they certainly pass. Try the inch and a quarter parallels. Have zero set. Again, these are excellent. Very good. And again, if you see movement on the dial face, some of that is, that's why I'm continuing to stop as I move and I stop, move and stop to let the needle settle because the, the slightest pressure from my hand can offset the needle. Wow, these are the best so far. And finally, we are at the one inch parallels. And I want to say there was a couple tenths there. Let's go back. No, actually, it's just where I went to the edge of the parallel. It's not on the parallelism itself, so that's good. And these pass Grizzly Standard. All right, I'm very impressed with what I see. Again, this is the second purchase I've made from Grizzly Industrial, and I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that I, it's met all of the expectations that I had for the set of parallels, and will definitely work with anything that I'm going to do in my bridge port.